Welcome to Ka'alu'u. This is one of the easiest walk-off snorkels on the Big Island. And it's great for beginners who are just learning to use their uh, snorkel equipment. But try it out in the pool first before you come here. And so this is uh, a view from the water. Uh, there's usually Reef Teach volunteers here, and they're very, very helpful. Uh, a couple things to remember. Uh, you want to not touch the coral and use zinc oxide sunscreen and do not stand on the coral you want to be floating here all the time so here's a couple of lined butterfly fish uh, they're some, they're used to people so they might come up and say hello to you just like this this is a yellow tail chorus there's two of them they're like liquid jewels in the water. They just reflect all kinds of colors. Quite a lovely fish. You often see them right when you get in over the uh, white uh, bottom. And here's a closer view of the yellow tail chorus. You might also uh, get to see uh, one of the juvenile yellow tail choruses. This is the, one of the juveniles. It's not Nemo. Nemo was a clownfish, but it's a strikingly similar uh, coloration. And they're quite uh, fun to watch. They're pretty shy. Uh, this is uh, a school of brown surgeon fish. They come in a variety of colors. You see some pale purple ones, uh, light gray ones, uh, and they're uh, eating uh, algae right at the moment. And you can swim right up to them and kind of follow them along as they're eating algae. Now, sometimes you see uh, big predators uh, hiding uh, amongst these schools of fish. And we're going to see uh, a trio of predators here in just a minute. So they, they go from spot to spot descending on uh, algae. And here's some predators. These are two blue goatfish and a bluefin trevally were hiding in those uh, surgeon fish. Here's a spaghetti worm, obviously not a fish, but there's some other interesting creatures to see here. One of the most striking fishes are the parrotfish. There's several uh, species here. This is the bullet head parrotfish. This is a male in his breeding colors. Uh, this one's uh, very uh, yellowish orange. Some guidebooks call them the sunset parrotfish, but that's just the male version. Here's another one, uh, a little more red on this one. Uh, they're a lot of fun to watch. And they, uh, they munch on the coral a little bit. And you can actually hear them when you're uh, there in the water munching on coral. Here's the female uh, bullethead parrotfish. Uh, they're dark red and they always have a spot on their tail. There are a lot more females than there are males. Now this is a different parrotfish. This is the male pale nose parrotfish. There's another one. You can recognize them by the liar tail. So the square tails uh, are bullet heads and these guys with a liar shaped tail are pale nose butterfly fish. These are orange spined unicorn fish. They have a pair of orange spines on their tail and this is the blue spined unicorn fish. You can see the unicorn on the blue spine but not the orange spine. Yellow tangs are ubiquitous. They're related to the surgeon fish. Uh, they're surgeon fish and unicorn fish because they have spines on their tail. This is a spotted uh, bockfish. This is a male. Got nice blue sides. Uh, they're uh, quite approachable, and you can swim up and get uh, nice pictures of these guys if you're very slow and don't thrash around in the water. Get a good look at them. This is the female. Well, she's covered in spots, but does not have the blue sides. They're really interesting swimmers. They can turn on a dime and swim away. These are ornate butterfly fish. They almost always occur in pairs. In fact, almost all the butterfly fish occur in pairs, so look for two of them at a time. Bright-eyed damselfish. Uh, 
these are uh, small but colorful. Here's a barred file fish. It's kind of an orangish tail shaped a lot like the trigger fish. There are other creatures there, long spined urchins. Some of them have a blue core to them. They're just neon blue uh, in the sunlight. These are black triggerfish. They have a bright blue line uh, above and below the body. And they often occur in groups, such as this school. And here's another triggerfish, the wedge-tailed triggerfish, the famous hubu hubu nuku nuku apu a a. There's a pair of them there. Get a good look at them. You'll see lots of these uh, at Kapalugu. Threadfin butterfly fish, as the name implies, has a little thread at the uh, top of its uh, dorsal, at the end of its dorsal uh, fin. You'll see moray eels there if you look carefully. Uh, this is the snowflake moray. He's there on the bottom hunting. Here's another snowflake moray uh, sitting in the coral. And then uh, if you look carefully there in the uh, center, you'll see mouth of the white mouth moray. So these two you'll see during the daytime. It's a trumpet fish. Trumpet fish come in a variety of colors. Uh, the bright yellow ones are, are pretty and then there's gray ones with stripes. Uh, they're predators. They often, uh, the yellow ones will hang out with yellow tangs. But this is a sailfin tang and if you get close he'll raise his sailfin. These are trigger fish, the pink tail trigger fish. This is the long snout butterfly fish. Again, look for the second one. There's usually there in pairs. Uh, this particular one was hanging out with a juvenile four spot butterfly fish. There's a sea turtle, a green sea turtle. Uh, do not approach them. If they swim up to you, that's fine, but stay away, stay clear, and give them plenty of room to go where they want to go and do not interrupt their feeding. Here's a saddleback butterfly fish, one of the more elegant of the butterfly fishes. Notice it also has a thread fin on the top of its dorsal. This is a hawkfish. There are three species of hawkfish here. I've seen all three. Uh, they'll sit on a rock and act like a hawk and prey on little fish. And there's another pair of sailfin tanks. Another threadfin butterfly fish. Good view of it. There's a pair of them. Again, the butterfly fish is all, very often as pairs. And here's some more female bullethead. Fish. You'll see a lot more females than you do males um, out there. The males are the spectacularly colored ones, just like in the birds. These are convict tangs. They often occur in uh, schools. Stripes, quite distinctive. They're algae feeders. And these are orange band surgeon fish. You'll see the orange band surgeon fish mixed with lots of other different species very often. These are Moorish idol. Some people call them angel fish, but they're not uh, angel fishes. Moorish idols. So enjoy your snorkel, but remember, don't stand or touch the coral, and, and uh, don't stand on or touch the coral, and wear some zinc oxide, uh, reefs, which is reef safe. We'll say goodbye, and hope you've enjoyed our snorkel. Thank <laughs> you.